Kalapala 2018 at the Green Pot is where I am at right now and I am absolutely stunned and amazed by the, all the different pieces of artwork showcased here, the different pieces of talent showcased here for the rest of the world. We're here at Kalapala 2018 and stay tuned as we talk to a couple of artists and find out what their view on this, how Kalapala 2018 helps them showcase their talent and do stay tuned as we find out more and see more about art. My name's Abid and this is Pulse. A lot of avid artists are built up in one place, all here to make sure the world sees their art. And I'm here with Lushani, another avid artist, and she's got quite a few wonderful pieces right behind me. Lushani, tell me, when it comes to Kalapul and events such as this, for the first time you have decided to showcase your talent here. Tell me, how, has the, how are the benefits, how has the reach been, how has the response been from the people who see your art? Well, since it's just the beginning, people are just still walking around, they're still checking out everything. But for me, this is my first time, so I think I value the experience more than who is going to buy my art. And I want to make a name for myself. So I think mainly the experience. Seeing other artists here, just like you, who want to showcase their art, show their talent to the world, how does it feel like? What sort of experience or what sort of feeling does it give you? I'm actually really inspired because there are so many amazing pieces. And also, I know now what the competition is. I know where I'm at at a level and I know what to do to become better so I'm gonna work on that We're here at the Kala Polo 2018 with another avid artist, Sir Mr. Semage, you told me. Sir, it's a pleasure being on board with you today. Tell me, being at an event like this where we get to showcase your talent to the world and you being someone who has already done that and seeing other artists give them that same opportunity right here at Kala Polo 2018, the 25th year, the 25th anniversary. Tell me, how does it feel? Like? Yes, actually, I'm a prominent artist in Sri Lanka. I have extraordinary paintings all over the world. Even uh, Geneva, I have a, in, in the U UNO uh, hall, I have a, <coughs> my painting still in the permanent gallery because I have exhibited my painting in Switzerland. So then the, 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 uh, the organization committee has selected one of my paintings for the permanent collection. Yeah, this is the first time I visited here and uh, <coughs> earlier also I visited once, but I bought some of my paintings because I have my painting, you can see that Typical, typical, different style. It's based on Sri Lankan style, based on Ajanta and Sigri style. That, that, that's why I, uh, uh, I have exhibited my paintings here. Tell me, when it comes to the benefits at this event, how does it benefit an artist like you? Yeah, yeah, I think it's uh, a very uh, rare talent, rare, rare event, and uh, because <laughs> this is all the artists from all over the. <coughs> uh, uh, world and all over the countries are visiting here and they can earn something because and, and, and sometimes they don't have a place to display their painting that's why they we came and display their painting I think we can they can earn a little sum of money here yes, yes. Like I said, we do see all kinds of talent right here at the Kala Polo 2018, the 25th anniversary of the event. And I'm here with two of it artists who have been through it all yet has not given up. 
how would you mind introducing yourself, sir? Actually, I will introduce him first. He is the artist of this uh, stall, and he is Nihal Sangbo Dias. Special about his is he's deaf by birth. He's deaf, and he's drawn all of these. He's painted all of these beautiful paintings around us. Is it? Exactly. And the special about his paintings is all oil on canvas, and you can see them. And special is it's all palette knife paintings. It's like it's a small cement hand, cement uh, spoon. It's like a, all these paintings done by that spoon. So this is the speciality. You can see his. You can every year he is coming here, and he's a senior artist from since twenty years, I guess. So you can see. Come and I invite you all to come and join us and just enjoy his paintings. Being at an event like this, an event of this magnitude, where so many people come to see everyone's work, how much do you think the reach has affected uh, Sir's uh, former life when it comes to painting? And now after Kalapula. Do you think his work has been reached out to more people or do you think that the benefits are reaped in a different way right here at Kalapur? Obviously because uh, this is a great opportunity to all of us because we can meet uh, high class people and the low class people as well. It's like a street festival so we are enjoying it as well. So we can have several people in here and after that we can make some contacts as well. So it's very helpful and very useful for I guess.